Former Prime Minister Julia Gillard has repeatedly stated renovations on her home were paid for by herself and not out of a union slush fund operated by a former partner. Ms Gillard has just finished giving evidence at the Royal Commission into Trade Unions. Rachel Papazzoni was listening to the evidence and she's with us live. Rachel, did we hear anything new from Ms Gillard about her involvement in that slush fund? Eliza, we didn't hear anything new today. Uh, I guess it wasn't a surprise for anyone. For years, uh, Ms Gillard has been de denied her involvement in any illegal activity involving this slush fund. It was set up in 1992 by the Australian Workers' Union uh, and Bruce Wilson, who was the head of that union, and dating Julia Gillard at that time. She was a lawyer for Slater and Gordon. So helped set up uh, the incorporation, helped go through that legal process to incorporate this association. But Ms Gillard says that that's it in terms of her involvement and she maintained that stance today. What's been at question for a number of years is the money that came into that fund, how that came into it, but also how it was spent. And Ms Gillard's involvement in this section of this issue is whether any of that money was spent to renovate her home in Melbourne. That question was put to her several times today and she repeatedly denied it. We told him on a number of occasions that Mr Wilson was paying for the renovations. That's completely untrue. Because Mr Wilson was in fact paying for the, um, the renovations. That's right, Stoddard. isn't it? Just not true. And you, um, you also told Mr James that as Bruce um, brought you um, cash, you would be in a position to uh, pay his bill. That's just not true. So what we heard there, Eliza, was council assisting, questioning Ms Gillard on whether the funds or some of the funds for the renovation to her home were paid for by Mr Wilson or uh, the f this uh, slush fund that was set up, which he was connected to. And obviously we've heard her continue to deny that that was the case. In fact, she maintains that she paid for that uh, renovation. None of us get to go in a time machine and go backwards. Uh, obviously, uh, if one got to do the whole thing again, you would do things differently given what I know now that I did not know at the time. Rachel, tell us about Ms Gillard's demeanour in the stand. How did she deal with this much anticipated day in court? Well, some viewers may recall that uh, Ms Gillard gave two press conferences on this uh, in the years that she was Prime Minister. During those press conferences, quite stoic, quite adamant, quite um, uh, thoughtful, I guess, in her responses. No different today. This is a, a woman who was the Prime Minister of Australia and you could see that same person uh, giving evidence here today. Very um, controlled and, and, and very assertive. In fact, giving a little bit back to council assisting when uh, when she was challenged on certain matters. In fact, um, you know, she was questioned in terms of how her memory was. But we're talking about events that were more than two decades ago and, and she, um, I guess, gave back to council saying, I'm not prepared to uh, make, make assumptions or, or guess on this. This is a Royal Commission and I'm taking this seriously. OK, Rachel Papazzoni in Sydney, thank you very much. The Immigration Minister Scott Morrison has signalled a possible backdown on the government's policy of sending all asylum